So we have a soap dispenser here. And the question is asking, pushing on the uh, soap dispenser pump compresses a small spring, which is like inside here somewhere. Um, and when the spring is compressed by 0 0.49 centimeters, its potential energy is 0 0.025 joules. Well, since everything's worked with meters, we're going to convert this 0 0.49 centimeters into meters before we do anything. So um, we know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So we're just going to multiply by that because uh, we put in one 100 centimeters on the bottom because we want to cancel out these units. So since those are canceled out, we just do 0.49 divided by 100. And that's just simply moving these two decimal places to the left. So that's just going to be 0 0.0049. Multiply by 100 and or divide by 100, sorry. Divide by 100 and, and uh, you get 0 0.049 meters because we're just left with meters. Okay, now we can calculate for the for the force con for the force constant because we know that the work done by a spring is one half k x squared. This is the potential energy actually potential energy of a spring. So so from this we know we know that the work is 0 0.025 from the question. Um, is equal to one half times k times the distance squared, and that's 0 0.0049 squared. Okay, so if we multiply by two on each side, canceling this out, and we divide by 0 0.0049 squared on each side, canceling this out on e on the side, we're left with k is equal to. Point oh oh two five times two times point oh oh four nine square or divide by divide by divide but by point oh oh four nine squared. So if we plug that into the calculator we get we get let's see, let's try this point oh two five times two divided by 0 0.0049 squared and we get 208 208 point or 2 okay well 208.25 I'll just round it to there um, and this is in newtons per meter or yeah newtons per meter so uh, if you have so let, uh, if you have uh, an answer blank and it, it's asking for kilonewtons per meter, we just multiply this by, um, or we just divide it by 100. Um, so we get, so let me, let me do this on the side. So 208.25 newtons per meter. And we want kilonewtons per meter. So, so, um, so one kilonewtons is equal to 1,000 newtons. So the newtons cancel out and the meters just stay there. So uh, let's do that. So if we do that, we do two, this is just conversion of units. So 200 or 208.25 divided by a, uh, a thousand and we get 0 0.20825. So, so it's equal to 0 0.208 kilonewtons per meter. All right, let's move on to the next next part. Okay. This part says, what compression is required for the spring potential energy to equal 0 0.086 joules? Well, this is simple because we just, um, we already have our k, so we just need to plug in our values and solve for x squared. So, and we we have we even have our uh, potential potential energy, so let's see. So point so from from this equation right here. Let me just copy this down so we can we can refer back to it anytime we want. <coughs> okay. 
the so 0 0.0086 joules is, the, is our work, our, our potential energy. And that is equal to our, our um, K, which is 208.25 newtons per meter. And we're, we're going to have to use newtons per meter because this is the, the kilonewtons per meter is not an not a SI unit, but newtons per meter is so is four four k. So we're gonna use that times x squared. And now now we just solve for x squared. So so x squared is equal to point oh oh eight six point oh oh eight six times two times two o or divided by divided by two o eight Point two five. Okay, let's, and then we just take the square root of each side to to get x. So let me just show that right here. So let me just, so this that goes away. Okay, let's calculate that. So the square root of of uh, point oh oh eight six times two over two oh eight point two five is equal to point oh oh nine one. So x, our distance, is equal to 0 0.0091 uh, meters. And I believe the, the question is asking it for centimeters. So we just have to convert this into centimeters. So 1 meter, meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So meters cancel out. And we get point that times 100, which is 0.91. So that's it's equal to 0.91 centimeters. That's our answer, or that's my answer, sorry, because you would have different numbers for this one and for this one.